What's up YouTube, this is URC Shadow and welcome to a strategy guide for Martin's level 50 mission, Hold Up Burton. So this is a pretty good mission for getting some decent money and I'll show you a little trick in this video which makes it nice and easy to repeat quickly if you want to try and use it to grind some decent cash. So, being a level 50 mission, if you complete this in 4 to 6 minutes you'll get $10,500 and if you complete this in 6 to 8 minutes you'll get $12,600. So that means at 4 minutes you'll be getting around $2,600 per minute. Which, depending on how much ammo you use, is actually pretty good. So, quick overview first, bringing up the map. This mission is going to be taking place in the middle of Los Santos. And there's basically going to be a parking lot with a whole load of enemies that we're going to need to take out. And at the end of the parking lot is the guy that we're going to have to save and escort back to Martin's house. He's going to take a set route across town. before finally arriving at his destination in the Vinewood Hills. So two different methods we're going to look at. The first one is with a car with a bulletproof back. There's only a few of these and I'll probably do a video one day of which cars are actually bulletproof at the back. But the ones I can mention off the top of my head is this racing jester that has the slats as a modification on the rear window. I think the Zontorno is bulletproof at the rear. And also I believe there's a Sand King XL that can have in the modification that makes it bulletproof at the back as well. So you want to take your bulletproof car, you want to reverse into the parking lot and then basically use your gun, the SMG or an AP pistol with an extended clip are pretty good for this. And basically work your way down the parking lot, shooting backwards and making sure you don't let any of the enemies get to the side or front of your car. You can do this pretty fast with a bit of practice. There are 10 guys you've got to kill in total and within about a minute you should have cleared out the parking lot and got yourself to the end. Once you've got yourself to the end, the guy that you're here to save should then get in his car and start driving out the car park. Now at this point, if you followed him out, you'll then have to protect him from a load of SUVs that turn up until he makes his way safely to Martin's house. However, there's a little trick to use here, which is if you don't leave the parking lot, then the enemy SUVs won't spawn, and he'll drive the set route all the way to Martin's house without any interruptions whatsoever. This is great for you, because it means you have to use less bullets, it avoids any chance of failing the mission, but the best bit about this is it means you're back at the beginning again, ready to restart the mission once it's complete. So all you gotta do is sit there, you can go and collect the money if you want from the dead guys, watch your map and wait for him to arrive. So the only downside of that approach was that you have to spend about a grand on ammo, especially if you're using the AP pistol, to take out the guys in the first place. So if you've already purchased a Rhino tank, you can spend the $200 to order that from Pegasus, which will spawn nearby. Hello, Pegasus Lifestyle Management, how can I help? You can go and get that and that will basically save you $800 because you won't have to use any ammo in the mission whatsoever. And obviously this is going to take a little bit longer because you're going to have to go and get the tank first. But again with a little bit of practice you should be able to complete this within the 4 minutes in total giving you the best payout per minute. Don't really need to explain what you need to do when you get to the car park with the tank. You pretty much just want to blow the crap out of everything that you can see move and wait for the guy to get in his car and start driving out the parking lot. Now again, you don't want to leave the parking lot because the second you go out into the road, enemy SUVs will spawn and attack the guy, which means you'll have to protect him. There is of course another third option which is just to clear out the parking lot on foot, and this may be your only choice if you don't have a tank or a bulletproof car, but just be mindful that you're going to be using a lot of ammo, a lot of body armour, and also you're going to have a much higher chance of failing the mission because you've run out of lives. So anyway guys, I hope you found that useful, if you did, please feel free to like and subscribe to support the channel. And don't forget to check out all my other videos, plenty of mission strategy guides, best money mission analysis and tips and tricks videos. Cheers guys, thanks for watching.